Hello, this is JJ again, and I'm going to discuss backstroke technique now. Now, remember, we talked about the three important fundamental things. Number one, body position. Number two, having an effective use of your hands and legs to propel you through the water. And number three, the timing of those things together. Those three things are very important in backstroke. Now, in backstroke, the first thing, again, you push off the wall. You should always be in a perfect streamline when you get off the wall. If when you leave the wall, you should leave the wall in a streamline and then very important in backstroke and butterfly and in freestyle especially today is how well you do underwater kicking so everyone should practice underwater kicking all the time as you leave the wall get better and better at it every day set a goal if you do six good kicks now set a goal for seven every time you push off and practice talk to your coach about what's the right number of kicks for you now let's talk about body position and backstroke again from the very tip of your fingertips to the very tip of your toenails, you want to be in a straight line. Okay, that means keeping your the core of your body from your hips to your shoulders in line, keeping your head in line, and then keeping your legs and arms also in as straight a line as possible. If you have your head too far up, that means your bottom's going to sink and you're going to be swimming uphill. If you have your which is real hard, but if you had your head way too back, then you'd have your hips up too high and you'd be swimming downhill, which would be difficult, but also not very good. So body position, head in neutral position, eyes looking straight up, chin up as much as you can so that you're in good a position with the core of your body. Now backstroke, like freestyle, is a long axis stroke. That means you're rotating on your long axis from the top of your from your head to your legs, just like you were on a barbecue pit being uh, like a shish kebab. Side to side rotation and freestyle and backstroke. In fact, backstroke really, you're not swimming on your back only about 10% of the time. The rest of the time you're swimming from side to side, going from one side to the other. So body position, and there's many drills that we can work on to work on that. Good head position, good body position, whether you're working on your rotation, just your kicking, whether you're working on drills that use your arms to get put more pressure on your hips, keeping your body line straight from your knees all the way up to your chest, keeping that strong core and a straight line is real important. So that's body position. Once you've mastered that, then it's how you use your arms and legs. When you, on your arms, you want to make sure that your arms come straight up in the same plane. They don't want to cross over to the middle, you don't want to cross over to the side. Straight up, okay, and when you come up, you're also rotating some, keeping it straight. Thumb comes out of the water first, straight up, then you rotate, this is the most hard part for age groupers, rotating while keeping your arms straight. Then you reach back behind your ear with your pinky, keeping good body position, and without hesitation, drive your hand into the water. Notice as I grab my right hand down, my left shoulder and left hip come up. That's part of that long axis rotation. Then reach back in the water, grab the water with your hand, and then try to grab it just like in freestyle. Grab the water, pull it through, and then at some point it turns to a push. If you push your way through, come out of the water with your hand again. So again, good body position. Is, is the most important thing because just like a rowboat, if it stays on the surface, it's easier to row. So you want to keep on the surface, thumb out, pinky back, drive deep right away, grab the water, pull it through as you pull yourself through the water. Okay? Now, we talked about the arm pull itself. You want to make sure that you drive your pinky deep, grab the water, go from pulling the water pushing the water and then starting on the other side. Remember freestyle and backstroke are long axis symmetrical strokes so once your right arm is going in the water your left arm is coming up. Once your left arm is going in the water your right arm is coming up. So both arms are the same symmetrical movements so both both sides are the same. Now the next thing we're working on is your kick. You should, continue, you should keep a consistent strong kick going the whole time in backstroke. Because you're rotating from side to side, again, your kick will be on one side, six beats on one side, six beats on the other. Actually, elite backstrokers even have eight 
eight uh, feet kick these days. So you're kicking on one side, rotating to the other side, kicking on that side, keeping your body, keeping your legs close together. If your leg comes out every now and then like this, you're increasing resistance and so you're making it difficult to go forward. So, and review. Backstroke, body position is very important. Straight line through the water, keeping your body level as you can. On your arm stroke, reach back, grab the water, pull yourself through the water, trying to add the rotation. Similar to freestyle, when you grab the water, you use your body rotation to pull yourself through, just like in backstroke. Grab the water, body rotation to pull yourself through. And keep your kick strong the whole time. The stronger you keep your kick going, the better your body position and the more propulsion you get. The one thing that we didn't talk much about is your underwater kick. That is so very important in, in backstroke and in butterfly. You're allowed to go 15 meters underwater. Underwater kick is the fastest way to go underwater once you become a good backstroke, once you become a good swimmer. So get better at your underwater kicks. The better you are at that, the faster you'll be. Watch those races where the big kids race and you see them pop up way down the field, 12 to 15 meters down there, pop up and they're way ahead because, and you haven't even seen them swim yet because they're very good underwater and that's what you need to be off every wall in your backstroke. Okay, there are a couple of things that you want to remember when you're doing backstroke. First of all is you want to be on your back, your head up, pin all the way pointing to the sky, belly button up, pointing to the sky, and you want a good kick, just like in freestyle. Same thing, little tiny motorboat behind you. You get your head back, your belly up, and your kick's going, your arms will just come later. You'll be good to go. Okay, so we in backstroke, we talked about body position, we talked about arm and leg propulsion. Now the timing of the breathing and the strokes. It's Even breathing in backstroke, even though your head is out of the water, you do have a pattern to it. Okay, so whether you breathe every three strokes, whether you breathe before or during a stroke, everyone should have a pattern that they use with their breathing. And again, you want to breathe in a manner that you don't get water in your mouth so that it's so that you can get a good effective breath. Also, some backstrokers nowadays use nose plugs because they're kicking so far and so fast underwater that if you sometimes suck in a little bit of air with your nose, you can it's not very comfortable, so some people would use nose plugs to make sure they do a better job underwater with uh, not breathing. So again, head position and backstroke is so important. Keep it still. Breathe on a pattern. Okay, Know where you are in backstroke. Backstroke, it's so important that you use the flag smartly so that you can swim into the walls aggressively. Attacking your walls is so important. Make sure you know your stroke count, make sure you keep your head still, make sure you keep your body going great. Know where you are and attack your walls. Good breathing, good head still position is going to help your backstroke immensely.